Hi, I'm Matrix Artistic Designer Ammon Carver. Welcome to Craft On Demand. Along with styling for major fashion magazines, I'm also proud to facilitate at the Matrix Craft Global Academy and be a stylist at a top New York City salon. From Utah to New York, craft education has played an important role in my career, and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to share this new craft cutting technique with you. Let's craft this together. To perform this cut, you'll need a few important tools whose effects will integrate into our model's look when we get to do our honeycomb cut. They are 5 to 6 inch scissor, cutting comb, plastic sectioning clips, a blow dryer with a nozzle, a cushion brush, paddle brush and a flat iron. First, let's take a look at our sectioning for the honeycomb cut. On clean damp hair, we've divided the head into five sections as shown. A horseshoe parting around the parietal, two side sections and two equally divided sections in the back. Neatly clip them to separate. The precision of sectioning is an important tool in craft training methodology and enables a stylist to keep on track during a cut. To begin our cut, let's release the two back sections and create an A-line parting below the occipital. Beginning at the centre nape with the head held upright, create a vertical subsection. Keeping the section parallel to the floor, use a 45 degree cutting angle and 90 degree elevation. Determine the length and cut. Using this centre back subsection as a travelling guideline, first travel throughout the section to the right, then repeat on the other side of the section. Now, let's continue up the back of the head, maintaining our travelling guide, consistent cutting angle and elevation until the crown is reached. Be sure to keep the cutting sections parallel to the floor. Now we'll proceed to release the right side section. Connect the vertical guide from the back section to create a guideline for the right side. Remember to maintain the proper elevation and cutting angles in this new subsection. Travel throughout the side and repeat on the left. Now let's dry the hair underneath the parietal. To blend and add texture, use the scissor over comb technique and point cut throughout the back and the sides. When using the scissor over comb technique, be sure to keep your scissors parallel to the hair so you won't disturb your design line. Now apply the Voom Gold Heat Blow-In Volume Protective Lotion from scalp to ends and dry the top section. After drying the top, establish a horizontal subsection at the crown, holding the subsection at 90 degrees and using it as a travelling guideline, deep point cut throughout the crown and the top. Try to maintain a disconnection between this and the other sections for an exaggerated dramatic effect. To finish our cut, comb the hair into its natural fall and surface plane the fringe and the ends to release texture and for personalised detail. For a finale that creates a buzz, use Vavoom Design Pulse Messy Couture Moulding Paste and piece out the hair. Let's take a look at our finished style. Notice how the controlled neckline contrasts with the varied lengths of the sides. The angles of the cut showcase the pattern of the honeycomb color. It's a smooth opportunity to create a golden combination. Thank you for joining me for Craft On Demand. See you again soon.